So you took some marijuana and now you're experiencing some very bizarre, debilitating symptoms. You may be feeling disconnected, feeling like this is not real. You may feel like this out of body experience or this numbness or this kind of brain fog and you're like, oh no, I've changed my brain chemistry forever. What I wanna talk about in this video is what you're experiencing. It's something that we called derealization or depersonalization. And typically the cycle goes like this. You have, you smoke some marijuana, you have a panic attack, and that leads to derealization, depersonalization. What I wanna to talk to you about in this video is how to get out of this. What really is happening so that you can get out and this can all go away and you can just go back to living freely. So pay attention. So like I said, the pattern goes something like this, which is you're taking some marijuana, you end up getting a panic attack. Oftentimes, many times when you've had a panic attack, your very first one, you don't even know it's a panic attack. And what that ends up leading to is experiencing derealization or depersonalization, where it feels like you're, you know, everything is unreal, where you have like this out of body experience. Now, the reason why I'm bringing up this specific scenario about taking marijuana is because it's literally one of the most common ways to fall into the cycle. In fact, in my mentorship where I'm guiding people through recovery, I would say maybe 40 to 50% of the people that fall into this trap are individuals that just smoked some weed, had a bad trip, and now are experiencing derealization, depersonalization. Now, it's really easy to think that you've altered your brain chemistry forever because if you think about it, you took some weed and you still feel high way after the marijuana has kind of left your system. And so it's really easy and natural to think, okay, well, this is just how it is. I, I messed up my brain chemicals forever and now this is how it is and I can't get out. But that's not actually true. And the first point that I actually wanna make is the fact that what you're experiencing actually is not because of the drug. See, it's really easy to think that smoking the marijuana is actually what is what giving you this kind of effect. But the truth is, is that all that the marijuana was, was it was a trigger. The actual thing that got you into the cycle was that panic attack. Here's what I mean. When you were smoking some weed, you may be feeling some uncomfortable symptoms all of a sudden, and you naturally got concerned. And so what that ended up happening was you were already feeling a little bit different. You started feeling these symptoms, maybe these stress-induced symptoms, and what happened was is that you scared yourself. You decided that this was not normal and something was seriously wrong. Now what happened was is that that led to a panic attack. What you essentially told your nervous system was, hey, there's a threat, something is out there, and something's out to get you, so you need to be on high alert. So what happened was your body went into what we call this fight or flight response, where essentially your body geared up for a threat. And what happened was is that you experienced a panic attack. Your body said, all systems go, we need to protect this person. Now, what happened is, is that after you experience that panic attack, something happens to your nervous system. Your nervous system becomes sensitized. See, when you experience a threat, even if it's not a real threat, it's perceived threat, what that does is that that keeps your nervous system alive and thinks, well, if I've seen a threat once, I'll probably see a threat again. And so what it does is that even after the panic attack, you're experiencing these symptoms. Now you, who doesn't really know what's happening, who just wanted to smoke some weed, all of a sudden it's experiencing these really bizarre symptoms. And so you may be going to the doctor, trying to figure this out, like you're asking different people and no one really knows what you're talking about. But the truth is, all that happened was is that you had a panic attack due to a trigger and now you're into the cycle. Now if you really want to know how to get out of the cycle, it's really important to understand a little bit more about the mechanics of what's happening. And in order to kind of demystify what's happening and show you the mechanics, I've written it out in a report. Now this report is absolutely free. I don't charge people for this. These are the exact same steps that I use when I'm helping people in my mentorship, when I'm guiding them out. So I'm going to put a link down below. This report is absolutely free. It's yours because I know how scary it is. I know when I, when I work with individuals, my own personal experience, even though I didn't, it didn't happen from marijuana, I still got tricked into the cycle the same way. And I was also experiencing derealization, depersonalization. I know how frightening it is. So it's really important for you to understand what's happening first so that you can 
actually focus on overcoming. Now, I wanna go a little bit deeper into this because when we're talking about derealization, depersonalization, what I'm really talking about is it's anxiety. And what I mean by that is derealization and depersonalization is an anxiety-induced condition. So really the culprit here is anxiety. See, anxiety is part of the fight or flight response. Derealization, depersonalization is part of the freeze response. It's kind of like the cousin of the fight or flight response. The truth is, is that it's still a survival mechanism. It's still designed to protect you. So even though you're experiencing depersonalization, derealization, and you're trying to fix that, the truth is, is that if you fix the anxiety, all the symptoms disappear. The truth is, is that you may be experiencing more things than just derealization, depersonalization. You're probably experiencing palpitations, dizziness, intrusive thoughts, brain fog, feeling emotionally numb. You may be experiencing all these things. So it's really easy to think, okay, I'm struggling with this, but I also have 10 other symptoms. And that may be true, but the truth is, again, you still only have one problem, which is anxiety. If you fix that, all these symptoms disappear. In fact, derealization and depersonalization also go away. Now look, I know it's really easy to think that somehow this is a life sentence that you can't get out. But in our program, like I say, the most common way people fall into the cycle is by just smoking weed. And the truth is, is that if you're here in the US, you know, with the more legalization and stronger strains, more people are gonna fall into the cycle. Now, this video isn't about whether weed is good or bad. The truth is, is that it is important to know though that what's happening to you. The truth is, is that the weed was just a trigger for you to fall into this. It's not that the weed is inherently good or bad, it's just you didn't know what was happening. And you responded in a very intuitive way. You responded in a way of, I'm feeling something that I've never felt before, what if it's something seriously wrong? And what that did was that, is that, that caused the anxiety cycle to start, and really kickstart. So, the idea really focuses on, if you can just focus on the anxiety, all this disappears. What we find in the program, by the end, when people are fully out of this, a lot of times they honestly just go back to smoking. And they know that once they come out, they won't fall back in. So if you really wanna know more, if you really wanna get more basic steps, more exclusive content on how to get out of this specific thing, what I'll do is I'll put a link down below to my private Facebook group. This is a group where me, people I've helped recover, are part of this community where we're actually helping people out of it. This is not for people that are interested in coping with anxiety or depersonalization, derealization. These are people that are serious about fully getting out of it. So if you wanna join, hit the link below. It's gonna ask you three questions. It's very important that you answer these three questions the best of your ability. We're trying to get as many people in as possible, but we also wanna maintain the integrity of the group. If you've been Google searching or going on forums, which I'm, which I'm sure you have, you've probably seen some toxicity. You may even have gotten on these sites and actually gotten more scared. We really want this to be a place where people can actually get really good knowledge. And so if that's you, hit the link below. I'll see you inside. One last thing I'll say is actually, if you just wanna get out of this and just wanna go back to living, and you're watching these videos and you're trying to figure out what's happening, but you still feel stuck, well, go ahead and join my mentorship program. What I will do is I will personally take you by the hand and get you out of this myself. This is not something that I've not just fully came out of, but this is also, I've worked with people coming out of this fully, and they've came out of it, and they've came out of it really fast. So why not you? Now this mentorship isn't for everyone. We're very selective with who we work with. Again, we're focused on fully overcoming. We're not really interested in helping people just cope or manage. You can find that on other sites on, on the internet. We're really invested in helping people fully get out of this. So it's not open to everybody. So if that's you, go ahead and hit the link down below for the mentorship. You have to fill out an application. We review the application. If you're a great fit, we will go ahead and have a call with you. The call is absolutely free. We'll see what your biggest strengths are, where your biggest goals are, and see if we can help. So if that's you, hit the link below. I'll see you guys inside.